This is the little PDA that I modeled the other day. I'm just done a couple of other quick things. Uh, I did a cutaway here, just a Boolean, and I put this in to make this kind of slider here. Um, I put this thing here in there. I don't know if that's a speaker or something. And I also put something up here. There's a bit of a cutaway there and uh, this piece and that piece those are glass and i wanted this sort of like uh, those uh, dslrs camera where you look down from the top and you can see a display so i'm thinking you know if somebody was wearing this on their belt you could just quickly look at uh, some uh, data on there um i only have time to do the glass in this video here so i just want you to notice uh, that i've got some extra stuff sticking out here and the reason I added that instead of just a, a plane here um, is because in substance painter in order to get some dirt along the edges uh, it needs to have a curvature map and in order to have a curvature map you need some curvature so I've got that there and I will be deleting that that later and I also have that up uh, up here uh, as well so uh, we'll see that in action in a bit um, I've also named some of these things. So, you could, for example, you can see case. So, I've got the top and the bottom with case. This piece is case, and same with the grips on the side is case. And I've got a bunch of other pieces that are metal, and this piece is going to be glass, and that piece is going to be glass. I'm going to do these two separately. So, uh, I'm going to delete that, create a new material, and I'm going to call this uh, PDA. I'm going to call this big glass. And before I forget, let's come over here and delete that and call this PDA small glass, that kind of thing. Okay, so we're gonna work on that one first. Let's go to UV editing. And I don't need it like that, that's fine. So I've got just that, that piece right there. And I'm going to U, uh, UV unwrap, uh, I'm gonna use Q pro projection. And then I'm gonna press N and I'm gonna use uh, pack master 3 to pack but I mean you could just uh, pack islands there and this was just a bit more efficient now I'm going to be getting rid of these in a while those are the outside pieces I'm not going to do that yet though okay so I've got that and I am ready to export it the only thing you want to make sure is that your polys are facing outwards because I extruded actually outwards and then deleted that uh, the top face and it was wrong so I had to flip that so okay so we've got that so I'm going to export that now all right over here in substance painter I'm going to open that up and there it is and I'm going to come over here let's make sure you see it I've got the material there so I'm going to bake the mesh maps and I think I'm just going to do this at 1024 without an ID. And it's real simple over here in smart materials, glass, this one here, glass film, dirty mirror, do that. And you can see it gets this dirt on the sides. Uh, so I will be deleting the other stuff, but that's all I need here right now. So I'm going to export those textures or that texture really. So let's go over to the shading tab. And I've got that one selected, big glass. So I'm gonna select the principal BSDF, go shift control T and find uh, big glass, there it is. I'm gonna put that on. I think I'll come back to layout, come over here. I'm gonna go into edit mode. And in face selection, I'm going to shift alt to click there, and I'm going to delete those faces. So this is what I have. Now it's going to depend on, you know, what HDR you're using, uh, how you see it. But you can see some, some of the dirt there. Okay, so I've got that on. I didn't want opacity on it. I want it very reflective. So I've got that piece. Let's go back to the shading tab. Now, on this, I want to put a, a decal or a graphic on there. Okay. Right now, it's just got the typical substance painter stuff on here that you would normally see. All right, so here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring in an image texture. With that selected, Control T, that will bring me in a texture coordinate with UV. That's exactly what I want. I want a color ramp. 
convert the color ramp. I'm going to change the color. I want an emission. I want it to be bright and I can adjust that. And to connect it all, I'm going to add a mix shader. I'm going to drop that there. I'm going to connect this here. I'm going to bump this up to 25 or so. And I'm going to come to my image texture and I want a doom image that I've I found before so where is that I want this all right now let's go back and see now here is what we have all right um, I still have some of that dirt in there and it's reflecting some lines and stuff like that and the environment um, but my my decal or, or image is wrong now I do not want to uh, mess around in here. So for example, often you would take this and you would rotate this and you would scale it. So for example, if I do that, if I scale this in the X to do that, you can see the dirt there. See the dirt edge right up here. The dirt changes position, that kind of thing. So I'm not gonna screw around in the UV image editor. I'm gonna do it here. All right. So let's see. Um, let's see if you know what I'm doing. Okay, so I don't want that. Let's try that. Okay. I just flipped it there, and I'm only affecting the image, not the dirt, which is really all part of this stuff down here. Okay, so we got that. Let's see what else we can do. Let's just look straight on. Okay, let's hold down shift and we can do that kind of stuff. Okay, I don't need that right now. Uh, let's try the X, maybe like this a little bit. And let's try scaling it. Let's try the X. Stretch it like that. And then its location. Let's see, uh, not that one. How's that? How does that look? Let's start with that. And then let's come over here. You can see that I've affected the brightness, right? If I go 15, it's not as bright. 30, it's brighter. Leave it at 30, maybe. And I want to make this maybe uh, a bluish color. Like that. And I've already got ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections and refractions turned on. But that's what we're going to get. And again, I'm going to try, you know, just a couple of different HDRs. Just, I think I'll probably leave it like that for now. I think just to make this a little bit more pleasant to look at, I will take this main material here. And I'm just going to darken this so it looks a little bit better. So I've got that on there. I mean, I, I could choose to put other text on there, but what I want to do is I want to work on the, on the other one here. So, okay, so let's go over to here. And we got this guy here. Let's you, let's Q project that as well. And then let's pack it. All right, this is the one I'm going to be keeping and that should be big enough for what I want. All right, so we're going to save and let's export that. Come over to Substance Painter and it's all the same stuff. Bake the mesh maps at 1024. Throw that glass on. There's a little bit of a line here. I don't know if, how well you can see that. And I think that's because I've got this turned on. So I'm going to do that again. There we go. And the line is gone at least it was there the line is gone that's all I need for this I've got the dirt there I'll get rid of this stuff so let's export that okay small glass okay so substance painter stuff first uh, small glass yes that's correct let's come in here and uh, Make sure we select these and we'll delete those faces. So there you can see the glass with the dirt. All right, good stuff. 
okay now to put some text on there some graphic on there now I created this one in, in flash I made this it's <laughs> I was I just did something quick. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I would do something else, but let's go with that for now. Let's maximize that and do the same thing. So texture, uh, not magic. Image texture, Control T for that stuff. Color ramp, shader emission. Let's make that 25 for now. And a mix shader to join those together. We'll plug that in there. We will find our image. This one is in here. There it is. All right, let's, uh, I want this one to be that yellowish kind of color. Okay. And again, I'm not going to go into the UVs to adjust this. I'm going to try to adjust this here. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, let's try it. 270. And uh, slide it up. Oh, geez, that went quickly. Just the X position. I'm not sure I do. Um, let's make that 15 for now. And it's in. I can make that a different color if I wanted to. You can grunge it up. But that is how that goes for those. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I've got it in there. Um, because it's so bright, you don't see the dirt right now. Yeah. You know, if I came back in here and I slowly... Well, if I made this 0 0.02, for example, you can start to see... I'm um, even the 0 0.01. You can start to see the dirt again, so it is in there. Um... And then you could adjust how, how much of that you want. All right. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. And then I'll come back and I'll texture the rest of this stuff.